Hello all, welcome back to the channel. How are we doing? Well, we're back in the shed. So, I thought I'd bring you... Uh, I, I get this question a lot about two-stroke carburetors. So, I'm just going to take you through step by step on what I do to clean, to diagnose and just to check your basic two-stroke carburetor. The only thing I'm not going to do is vacuum test and compression test the carburetor because my uh, Mitivac is broken. Uh, and if you, if you watch my previous videos, you'll know, you'll see. So, what I'll do, I'll get the camera set up, and then I'll get you focused in so it's nice, and then we'll go from there. Two minutes. Right, welcome back. So, as you can see there, if I can, I'll zoom you in a bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to take, take the 8mm nuts off. Don't lose them. Keep them to one side, just like that. Right, so now it's going to give us access to the carb. So, here we've got your throttle going in. We've got your fuel line, fuel in, goes round the diaphragm, and then back through. So what we're going to do now is... We're going to take these few lines off. There's one. There's two. So now you've we've took the few lines off. Let's pull the carburetor. So. What you need to do is is there we go. See that? So it's pushed through there the cable. Pull that up, let it slide, and then now just get yourself a pair of long nose snips or any kind of snips or a spanner. Whatever mill it is, 10 mil. Guess what? Rob's not got a 10 mil. <laughs> we'll use this uh, little backhoe. So, so unslacking your nut. I have got a bit of a wheezy chest, so I'm, I do apologise. Oh, it's tight. I would like to say, if you are new to the channel and you are watching, welcome. Uh, um, if you consider heading over hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, it helps me out massively. There's a massive 92% of people who are not subscribed watching my videos. Even if you just went over and subscribed and never watched the channel again, hit that sub button. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put this machine to one side. <coughs> right. So we are going to concentrate, I am going to zoom you in, so we are going to concentrate solely on the carburetor, okay, so first of all, 
let's get rid of all the, the residue on the side the dirt Right, so there we have the carburetor back. So what I want to talk about today is one of the main reasons these carburetors do not work when stood for quite a long time is the simple reason is, is the fuel diaphragm here, they just dry up. So when you put it back in or you put fresh fuel in and it won't prime or it's taking ages to prime and that's because the fuel diaphragm is bone dry and crispy. Now there is videos out there what will show you how to revive your the fuel diaphragm but I have mentioned it in a few videos before and I revive them by soaking them in brake fluid cleaner now some of you might have never heard of that or you know think varnish right so there we have primer bulb four screws and there you have your primer assembly there Okay, and there we have your fuel di uh, diaphragm, sorry, as you can see, but that will come apart if I can get that apart. That will come apart like so and leave the black gasket round now because that's had fueling that's quite wet and moist but what you're looking for with these carburetors when you're doing it on any two stock machine really what i've got these cheap chinese carburetors is the crispy diaphragm now that's not too bad okay so what i'm going to explain here is so we've got here your needle, your fuel needle, the spring and the lever what your fuel diaphragm there releases the fuel in. So when it's upside down, you can see your fuel will drop through, drop, come through, drop through there, filter through, and then when once your diaphragm's pushing like that, it will release the, the fuel through. So what we do is just take that off and take the seal off okay and just remember how they go back on so we need a posi drive to take that needle and jet out okay so be careful the little spring don't go for a burden so pop that there and there we have your little spring lever the little spring and then you have your little needle valve so now basically we've just got a shell of a carburetor because we took all the components out so what I want to do now is spray every see that the little see that coming through there so I can, yeah I can show you this way 
that's coming through. Just clear that, that's coming through there. See that? Let me just show you these again. Here, that's just coming through. See that? Lovely. See that? Look. So now we know that this part of the carburetor, the fuel diaphragm, is working fine. Okay? So, what we need to do now is check the needle. There's usually a rubber tip at the end which can get worn sometimes and that'll let excessive fuel through. So, drop your needle back in. Okay? Position your spring over the middle there. I'm sorry if you can't see because of my chunky fingers. This is why I'm using this pick in the end there. So don't worry about dirt off your hands there. You can blow that off after you've installed it again. So now what you're looking for is to hook your carb lever on the spring push your lever uh, your, your, your pin back and hook the jet so it's hooked it and it should look like like that it should look like that there sorry you see that so Basically now, get your little screw, and it's a bit fiddly, hold it all down, drop the screw in, and then Tighten it down, but don't over tighten it, okay? Now that is moving lovely, now that, okay? Right, so that's that. So let's, let's just clean this workstation up. Right, so now we've got the float inside. Now, on these carburetors, You've got your high mixture, your high, and some people tend to believe this is high and low, which is not. This is just your high screw. Your fuel, well, your fuel screw. Less fuel, more fuel. Now this at the top, if you see here, which it's a special tool for that, in there, that is your low screw, which drops the needle. It'll drop the needle from going down and going up, and it'll drop your revs. So, obviously, I'm not going to take that apart because I don't need to. But, obviously, for camera purposes, we will take that apart. So, all you need to do is find the special tool for these carbs which is put that down De -de -de. I don't think I've got it in this two box no I think it's in this the other shed. It the other shed, the car, on the over. Right, so what I'll do, I'll just show you. Put that one. Ah, right, there we have it. So, when I was saying about the special two, which this is it, this is a Pac-Man, but there's two different Pac-Mans. This is the thinner one. Okay, it just sits in top of there nicely. And you can adjust 
the low and the high screw with the needle. Usually it's a flat head, sometimes, at the top. So, no, sorry, it's not a Pac-Man. I don't know what this one is called actually, but it's the thinner version and it's got like the little dot in the end. Okay. Right. So now, let's just test and see if we're getting fuel where we're supposed to. So I'll shove your, your, your line in. And there we are. That's getting fuel. Right. So open your open your throttle like so and you see it's coming through the throttle chamber if I drop it down there that's coming through that's coming through perfect that's coming through so we're all working okay got WD-40 on my bench cost me a bloody fortune that right but like I said you can you, you can test it out uh, with other things if you don't want to use WD-40 right so let me uh, clean this off So we've checked it, all the throttles working, all the it's correct. So now let's reassemble. <clears throat> let's reassemble back how it was. Okay. So you've got your fuel line, your fuel line. You've got your fuel. Uh, Fil filter spit it out diaphragm so you put your diaphragms on like so and then what we need to do is get your bottom part of your diaphragm which has got your fuel like your your, your block your, it blocks all the debris etc that sometimes also can get blocked so you pop that in, okay, so let's just give that a bit of a clean, so now you pop your fuel diaphragm back on the right way, Pop your the top piece on, which is that way. Okay. And then pop your primer ball back on like that. Okay, so now pop your bolts back in. Tighten them up. Bit faster. Right, and there we have it. 
a two stroke carburetor cleaned all the diaphragms have been checked and obviously you can replace them if you've got them in stock or you've ordered them new I mean you can get replacement kits but that is lovely that kicking all that WD-40 out so that is how we do it so thank you very much for tuning in uh, that's all for today's video and don't forget if you are new to the channel and you're not subscribed please consider heading over subscribing and see you on the next one god bless you all thanks for watching rob's small engine repairs if you enjoyed the content please like share and subscribe